Hi, I'm Chris Holden. I'd like to welcome to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Holden. I'd like to welcome you to our class this semester. Uh, what are numbers anyway? Or as it's also known, uh, honors 2221. That's a new, brand new number for the course that they've given us this, this semester. But you don't care about that. You want to know about uh, what you're in for. And the most important thing I have to tell you in this first welcome message is that you don't need to go and buy all the books that are on list at the bookstore. Uh, I know cost is an important concern for all students. Um, and so regardless of what you buy, you'll have access to electronic versions of, of our materials uh, one way or another. And, and then if you do want to buy the books, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, some people just like reading on paper, and so that's kind of nice too. But um, these aren't just any old textbooks. They're books that someone somewhere would read on purpose, even if they didn't have to for a class. Um, if nothing else, they'll look nice on a shelf, impress people that come over. Um, so I, I picked small books that are easy to carry around that I thought were good reads, and so I hope you enjoy them too. Uh, so that's, that's the most important thing. I guess the other thing is that I'm not alone in teaching this class. Uh, an honor student who's a, a math and physics major, Andrew Coffey, is going to be joining me in, in helping you through all this stuff. And so that's an extra little bit of fun. And it, I'm imagining you're, you're likely first year honor students, but not all of you. Uh, so if student teaching sounds like something that you're interested in, I'd encourage you to check it out as you go along. The usual route is that you student teach with someone who you took a class with and that you could imagine yourself teaching a class with. And the big downside is that there's a lot of setup involved. It takes almost a couple years to put all the pieces together. So if it's something you want to do, you should look into it soon. But enough about that. Back to our class. Um, our class is going to be largely composed of group discussions. And because of the pandemic, those group discussions are going to have to be carried out via video conference for the most part. This is not the best possible situation, uh, but I'd like us to be able to make the most out of it. Meaning that whatever little things that you can do that I can do to make those sessions things that are worth coming to, that are, uh, you know, there's someone else there. I found that, that teaching through the, the video conference last year uh, could feel pretty lonely at times. And it's not an experience I'm, I'm excited to replicate. So um, if there's ways to make yourself more present, more active, I know that crosstalk and things are always a technical problem with video chat. And then in the case of teaching a math class, I also know how difficult it can be to bring yourself to offer something. Uh, maybe because you're worried that you will be the dumb person in the class. Maybe because you're worried you don't have the right answer. Uh, maybe just because you don't know how to write it down. Um, but I, as a first step for indicating what kind of a math class this is, I want to stress to you right now that having the right answer at the beginning is not really the point. 